All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to this week's benchmarking with Phoenix. We are down here with a new brawl, uh, and it looks like we have Bountiful, we have Stronghold. No way, we have Unstoppable. All right, that's amazing. Okay, so Unstoppable makes it so that every time a unit you have kills something, they gain plus two percent max HP and shields. Holy! Okay, so whoever, whichever commander has like big hero units, has big units that can get access to early on, is just hands down automatically going to be good this week. Um, Bountiful is just double income. Stronghold, as you can see here, uh, a base is being built um, as you sort of move forward. I'm just going to pop out with this one legionary, and I think I'm just going to turn him into Kaldalas. And honestly, I just don't want to feed my opponents um, anything. I think I think this guy is getting. Is, is he not getting max health when he kills these probes? Oh, he doesn't. I think I have to, I have to kill an, an actual wave opponent's Sell. units. Uh, that would make it too easy, wouldn't it, I guess? Uh, Abbott, they're here. Oh, with queens. Well, those queens are going to stay quite healthy, but they're not going to be able to kill much, because queens don't do much damage. So let's just level up here. And let's prepare to get Talos. Oh, God, we got Manx here, putting out some lings. But Manx Royal Guard should be gaining lots of health this week. Um, so I think Manx would pr be pretty good. I'm thinking Gahawk is going to be pretty good. I think Alarax is going to be pretty good. Um, whoo, anyone who spams also. I think even Nova might be decent. I think Kerrigan would be very good. Um, because Kerrigan just sort of... Kerrigan the hero is very good. Kerrigan's wave is kind of... It's kind of okay. It's kind of okay. Not really that strong. Uh, apparently Kaldalus has killed nothing here, which is kind of sad. Because he's killing all these buildings, but I guess the buildings don't count, so... That's a little sad. Um, and because of Stronghold, you can build stacking, actually. So stacking might be not bad. I think Tychus is definitely going to be pretty good, too. Mm, that being said, though... Let's see, okay, there we go. Kaldalus is finally killing stuff. Alright, well, I'm, ran I'm ranked 2 now. Uh, tier 2 now, there we go. I'm going to pop that assimilator here. Okay, well, looks like we have a we have a rainer on our team. Well, duck swings is probably the best thing he can go. So, oh my god! All right. Well, I think this is gonna this week is gonna be definitely it's definitely gonna be an interesting week. We're probably gonna have really long games, uh, more likely like more so to have long games than short games. I would think. I'm just gonna get one of each hero. Um, let's make that happen. I'm getting Mojo. I just got Mojo because it's like the first guy to put down here. Uh, I'm probably gonna want Phoenix as well because Phoenix has a lot of HP. Um, Holy! All right, let's do it. Let's do this. All right. Oh, it's definitely a little, definitely a little breath of fresh air from last week's uh, four modifiers, and so many free units from last week. Oh my god! Am I lagging? I think I'm the one who's lagging here. I have some like frame rate drops here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but you know what? That's 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 okay. That's okay. So how have you guys been? I hope you guys have been doing good. Um, this has so far been quite an uneventful, uneventful week for myself. I hope uh, you guys have had a good time. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you guys are new here to my channel, uh, I make these uh, benchmarking of Phoenix videos every single Friday uh, because that's when the brawl changes. And when the brawl changes, you know you got to get a new tier list in. Uh, and for those of you guys who are new, uh, continue watching to the end uh, if you guys want to see the commander tiers and a little bit of a rundown, a breakdown of why I think. Um, certain commanders are at certain tiers. Um, yeah, maybe be sure to watch the end. Or you can just skip to the end because, I don't know, you guys came here for Direct Strike but you don't want to watch the game. Uh, that's cool too, right? Everyone's got their preferences. Uh, and let's see here. This Aegis Guard, his shield doesn't get any bigger. Which is... I don't think it's a glitch actually because I think the Aegis Guards only have health. And then like... I think the shield only counts for like... Um, I think the shield only counts as like a ability, so it's not like it's not like the immortals who have shields and stuff. That's interesting. Okay, so uh, I should probably get some of these upgrades for my heroes here. Abathur is going air, it seems. Um, okay, my wave opponent. I actually don't know what my wave, what my wave opponent is doing because this is Abathur. But I'm not going into Abathur. I'm going to someone else. Okay. Well, let's just make sure I'm auto gassing because Bountiful's here. Um, and since I just auto gas, I can't afford to get Phoenix, uh, but I can afford to get some combat sensor arrays. I'm just gonna upgrade all my heroes here. Uh, debilitation system's very good. Um, suppression procedures very good, and gravimetric overload is also very good. I love Bountiful. Every time there's a Bountiful brawl, it's always such a good feeling uh, because you just you just get so much more resources. Okay, Alarak. I'm against Alarak. Taldori Mothership is actually gonna be nuts. Uh, cause he gains like 20 H, like 40 HP every time he kills stuff. Um, there we go, Mojo on the suppression procedure. Does Mojo like just stun lock? 
Um, stunning? Oh, he does stun lock. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I destroyed the enemy cannon with Tall Darn. Uh, okay, so if it's Mojo, I'm gonna need Mojo. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need some more scouts, but I think Mojo's just constantly stun locking here. But Mojo did not get the kill. Oh, that sucks. Tall Darn here getting the kill. There we go. Well, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna have to get Phoenix as a Solar Red Dragoon because I think um, that's probably the best way we can have him on the field. Like that's his most influential position, I think. So let's get down Solar Red Dragoon Phoenix here. Uh, maybe I'll put him down like this. I don't know, guys. I'll put him down like sort of like this. Um, Talus has actually gotten no kills. Hell, Dallas has gotten like two or three kills. Yeah, your units get like plus two percent of their max HP or their max like, sort of stats, um, their max health stats. Uh, okay. Now then, now that I'm getting like one of each hero, I should probably upgrade air weaponry here. Um, there we go. Boom. Make sure you put that down. All right. I mean, Taldar is just gonna beast mode through all these structures here. There we go. Phoenix just getting Phoenix has tw 20 health each every time he kills something, so that's quite good considering there's a lot of stuff for Phoenix to kill out here. Now oh, there's a guardian. Let's kill that. There we go. Oh my god. So you do not want to be spamming small units this week. Um, especially, like, like Stukov is just going to have a, bit, a pretty hard time. You have to go, like, ex even if you go exclusively bunkers, you're just going to have a bad time because um, your wave is just made up of lots of small things. So it's, like, it's unavoidable. Um, like, you, you probably have to go, like, Diamondbacks or something um, to do well on it. But, like, just any commander who likes to spam is probably not going to do too great. I mean... Because your spam is going to be feeding your opponents. Like here, like all of Banks' units here are just going to make the mothership super tanky. That being said, there was a week where this brawl came out, and I managed to beat motherships as Kerrigan. I'm actually going to link that video right here as we're about to uh, close out this game. It seems, or or not, or not. Looks like uh, we're not. Oh my God, Rainer managed to get Hyperion. By the way, Hyperion is like the dream. Like if you can manage to hold out for long enough to get to Hyperion, that is actually insane. This Hyperion will stack just as just as well as the motherships. But they do like Hyperion just, just does so much more damage. Um, let's see, Gravimetric Overload here. Taldarn is probably just gonna beat the stuff out of this Brutalist. Um, because uh, he's taking he's taking no prisoners here. Look at this, Taldarn, come on, let's get him. Um uh, Boom! Alright, Phoenix, there we go. Alright, Hyperion is out on the field and it has already gotten like six kills now, I think. Oh my god, it gets it gets 40 HP, so it got three kills there, four kills. Oh my god. This is nuts. This is nuts, guys. I love it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna get Kalarian. I didn't actually... I totally forgot that I had enough cash for that. Uh, so I'm just gonna put that over here. Just like one of every here. Oh, I can get Propius out on the field, but this looks like it. This looks like it. Like, the Manx Flame Boys here. That being said, you're still vulnerable to getting rushed down. Alarak here just went pure motherships. If he put out Alarak himself every wave, I think that would have been able to, like, let them hold on for a little longer. Let's look at the overview. I don't think I did much. Uh, I did 20k, and that's not bad. Rainer just sort of sat on his hand, so he still did quite a lot with those dust wings. Alright, um, well, I think the strategy with Phoenix seems to be quite straightforward here. I think we're going to keep this video a little short, and we're just going to go right to the tier list. Let's do it. Alright, and we are back. Let's rock. So, as per usual, auras, overall strategy, commander rankings. If for some reason you guys have jumped right over here uh, and skipped all the videos, be sure to like and subscribe and let's go right into it. So Bountiful uh, grants your refineries double income. So this is one of the modifiers this week. Uh, the next modifier we have is Stronghold. A base is built around you as you push up. So it, you'll have some sort of forgiveness and late way uh, when it comes to getting pushed in a little too hard um, or pushing in to snowball. Um, the units that um, are killed from Stronghold do not count towards Unstoppable. Unstoppable... Uh, whenever you kill an enemy unit, like an enemy unit spawned from an enemy wave, your unit that landed the killing blow will gain 2% max HP stats permanently. So 2% extra bonus health and shields if it has shields. So for example, um, Alarak's Mothership has 1,000 health and 1,000 shields. Whenever it kills something, it gets 20 shields and it gets 20 health forever so that means the next mothership that spawns is going to have 1020 hp and 1020 shields and so on um i've seen motherships go up to like 4000 4000 8000 8000 um if the brawl goes on long enough and if you feed it hard enough uh so that being said what is the overall strategy this week well overall strategy you want to pick a commander with big units um or heroes so if they have hero units that's also great all right ideally you should have access to them uh tier one 
Um, you, if you have to go to tier two, it's still okay. Uh, but if you have to go to tier three to get the big units, then it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. Um, avoid commanders that swarm or like use swarm strategies. Like you don't want to be feeding your opponent's units because they're going to be getting bigger and bigger each wave. And they're just going to be harder and harder to kill every time you meet them. Because uh, you're going to be meeting a lot of heroes this week. So that being said, this is the tier list. So no surprise, in the Supreme tier, uh, we have Tychus. And I have Dahaka there as well, because I think a really big Dahaka. Although Dahaka is not really known for his DPS, um, most of his wave units are quite healthy in terms of just how much health they have. And so I'm thinking like Impalers. Um, Creeper hosts and Swarm hosts, uh, the locusts they spawn, do not feed your opponents. At least that was what happened last time this brawl came around. So I'm assuming that this behavior sticks the same. Uh, if not, it might be a little bit different. Now, you might be wondering why I have Kerrigan up so high as well, because Kerrigan, well, I think Kerrigan's really strong as a hero, and you're able to get access to her very early. And then once you get access to Kerrigan, that's probably all you need to have on the field until you get access to a bunch of Broodlords or uh, Mutalisks, for example. So in this week's Brawl, you're probably going to be meeting a lot of Alarax with Motherships. Um, and Alarak Motherships actually lose to Kerrigan Mutas, um, even though it may look like you're feeding the motherships, um, the mutilists can actually take them down. Well, it's, it's happened once, so it might just be like that one case, um, that, that, that happened and it worked out. Uh, so it might just be like spurious causation. Uh, so that being said, Alarak is going to be up here because motherships, um, I think Manx is going to do quite well because he has a lot of royal guards that can benefit off of it. I'm thinking Aegis guards will benefit massively because they have a huge health pool to start with at tier three. Um, black hammers are going to do quite well. Uh, and if you somehow manage to get an August grad out, well, August grad is going to do quite well as well. I think Phoenix is going to do decently well as well. Uh, he's in the ace tier, uh, not in the supreme tier though, because I think Tychus is going to be quite strong. So you're going to need some like siege units to kill him. But a lot of siege units that you can access aren't very good at the max HP gaining part. Uh, I'm just thinking Siege Shanks. Uh, that being said, Nova is, I think Nova is also going to be pretty good because most of her units just have high health pools to begin with. So none of them are really going to be too bad. Like even like the Marine can kind of, actually no, don't build, don't build Marines guys. Don't build the Marine. But like, like I'm just saying like Nova's units are going to do decently well because of their high health pool. I think for in the Blackguard tier, I have Stepman. So Mm, the black guard tier is sort of like it's like a 50 50 it's a throw up so i think hot and horner like definitely is gonna be quite strong with um just the bonus health on say asteroid rates or bonus health on Deimos vikings so it's gonna be quite good but like grenade cars are gonna suffer a lot this week because you don't want to be building them ideally uh stepman i think you can do okay if you go for gary and then you go to tier three because you do have bountiful to help you out and stepman is always good with extra cash um if you go to like Gary, and then go to Mecha Ultralists and Mecha Corruptors, like just like the same stack breaker build, maybe without the mainlings, or maybe with mainlings, but get them later. I think you could still do quite well, especially when you get to Super Gary, because he has a thousand health, and a thousand health, he gains like 20 HP every time he kills stuff. Abathur, I think, is a little tough this week. Um, you might just have to rely on like your allies and your role is just to stall. And so you just build lots and lots of swarm hosts and stall your opponents out. I think that might be the best thing for you to do this week as Abathur, because Brutalists kind of suck. Leviathans are okay. That's about it. That's about it. That's all that's about all you can all you got. Um and yeah, I think like everyone else on the captain and the dark horse tier have a lot of small units or they just sort of don't really have a good strong stacking unit. Uh, I think Rainer might actually be a little lower than Captain, but he can still establish air dominance with Vikings. They're still they're so strong. Swan, maybe you can go for Thor's as Swan, but you're probably going to see a lot of Tychuses this weekend, so you're probably going to want to go with Cyclones into that. And Cyclones don't have too much health, so it's 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 going to be harder and harder to kill Tychus every single way. Zagara serves as just the suicide wave. It's going to be a little little. It's going to suck a lot. Vorazun doesn't really have anything that does well for stacking so yeah like i think you know honestly like a lot of the swarm strategies are going to be not as good but that doesn't mean like it's like completely unviable sometimes you will need to build those zerglings or you will need to build those zealots simply to just like keep your back line alive a little longer um so that being said i think this is probably how 
um, the cards are going to land, uh, our cards are going to fall in terms of how each how good each commander is going to be this week. I think the Supreme and Ace tier, you might be able to jumble some of them around a little bit. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think uh, of this tier list in the comment section below. I'm always down to hear some of your inputs. Uh, I may have missed something as well because that's that's totally that's totally like you know possible i'm only human um and yeah be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you found it informative uh so until the next video i will see you guys later